Some other time, pal. There won't be any other time. The world is gonna end at midnight tonight. Y2K. Y2K? What are you selling, chicken or sex jelly? Haven't you heard? At midnight, every computer in the world is gonna fail. Planes will fall out of the sky, and all the world's nuclear weapons will explode, annihilating the entire planet. No! Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Damn long ears trying to take Easter away from Jesus. I'm, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Hey, Peter. In case you didn't know, a balloon tied to a mailbox is the international symbol for party over here. Oh, forget the party. The world's gonna end. Y2K. I heard it from a chicken man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, you are the height of just too muchery. Well, laugh all you want. But when you die, you'll have to go to heaven. And you know what? You know what? I bet you run into those two dead bailiff ladies from Night Court, and you're not gonna know which one is which, and it's gonna be really awkward. So bite me. Oh, hey, can you help me with these damn studs? Aren't you a little overdressed? Oh, well, I, actually, I'm just stopping off at Quagmire's. There's a benefit gala at the Boston Pops tonight, and, well, I'm, I'm trying to nail the flautist. Oh, Stewie, you're adorable. Yes, yes, I rather like the sash, but do the huggies make my ass look big? Peter, come on! You've had a thousand years to get ready for this party. It always takes him so long to get dressed. Peter, we're gonna be late for my cousin's wedding. Aren't you dressed yet? Oh, crap. Well, one of us is gonna have to change. <sighs> Unzip me. Where's your father? He's still down in the basement. Peter, you've been down there all day. I hope you're all ready. Ah! Oh, my God! The government is here! Run, E.T., run! Ah! The end of the world is coming. Now, come on, get in your radiation suits. Peter, we are not missing a once-in-a-lifetime event because of some wacko doomsday theory. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, you guys, you know that one Christmas present you really wanted but didn't get? A phone? A pony? A humidor? A dead Lewis? Yeah, well, it's in the basement. Come on, let's go see. My own phone. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to name him to Sparky, and then I'm going to get on. Peter, if you want to stay here, that's fine. But we're going to the party. Kids? Honey, are you pregnant? No. Ah! Oh, dear me. Yes, yes, this is how I wanted to enter the new millennium. Locked in a basement with imbeciles dressed like a gay Neil Armstrong. Thanks a lot, Peter. Right now I could be in Boston pretending I give a rat's ass about Vivaldi. Yeah, and I could be getting felt up by Kevin. Now, Meg, don't you give it all away up front. Make him work for it. And shame on you, Peter, scaring the kids with your nuclear holocaust nonsense. <laughs> you said nuclear. It's nuclear, dummy. The S is silent. It's almost midnight. We now go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. Trisha, what can you tell us? Diana, Quahog's fabled alabaster clam is about to descend and usher in a new millennium. Ten, Ten nine, eight, eight seven, seven, eight, six, five, four, three, hold on tight. Two, one. Happy New Year! A flautist, Peter. Well, I hope you're happy. Come on, kids, we can still make the party if we... Nice work, Lieutenant. Very festive. Uh, actually, sir, each of those lights represents a missile launching by itself. The pattern is just a coincidence. Oh, well, now that you mention it, the Y is a little misshapen. Still, it's pretty amazing. Oh, what the hell? Come here, Hillary. What I miss? Holy crap! Anybody else feel that? <laughs> 